Likely to be out and about today, not so much tomorrow though, right? Yeah, that's all going to be changing as we head into the start of the work week. It's just going to be a mess with some rain pushing in starting overnight and into your Monday. Let's get right to it. We'll take a live look outside. The clouds have moved in. We saw a good amount of sunshine earlier today, but now we're dealing with those overcast skies and it was a perfect spring day out there. In fact, we topped out at 73 degrees at Philadelphia International. That's just two degrees below average for this time of year. Other high temperatures were very spring like for Trenton right around 70 degrees. 70 in Reading and Wilmington around 69 for that official high temperature and then in Atlantic City 65 degrees. Let's take a live look at our neighborhood network. You're looking at uh, Palmyra Cove Nature Park. Clouds out there too. No rain just yet, but that's all going to be changing here in just a matter of hours. Take a look at current conditions across the region. Right now, check in around 59 degrees in Philadelphia at 62. In Allentown, we have 57 in Trenton, 57 Atlantic City, 57 in Wildwood, right around 56 degrees in Millville, and 58 degrees currently in Wilmington. Those winds coming out of the east really helping to build in that cloud cover tonight, and that's why the skies are now overcast compared to that sunshine that we had earlier today, which was just so refreshing and so nice. A couple of specs are showing up here on storm scan three. Really nothing hitting the ground just yet. That's a different story. You have to travel out uh, into central Pennsylvania to see some of that precipitation finally begin to hit the ground. It's all associated with a system and a cold front that spans from the Great Lakes all the way down into Ohio and Kentucky and Tennessee. That's going to be swinging on through as we head into tomorrow. And as it swings through, it's going to be bringing us quite a bit of rainfall. So let's track this out for you on our future weather. Again, the clouds for the next few hours, but we will have some rain that's going to be building in just in time, unfortunately, for the morning commute. We'll even have some pockets of heavier rain, especially during the first part of the day. So the morning into the early afternoon for Wilmington, Philadelphia, on up into Trenton, you'll be using those wind windshield wipers for sure. Uh, continuing with chances for heavy rain all the way through the lunch hour, things aren't going to begin to taper off until we head into the evening hours on Monday, and then things will really begin to quiet down by Monday night and into Tuesday. But it's just going to be a mess. You'll need the rain gear well pretty much all day and as far as rainfall amounts are concerned we're thinking generally anywhere from half an inch to an inch can sound pretty promising for the majority of the region however from philadelphia and areas south and east we could actually tap into some higher amounts upwards of around an inch and a half for some locations especially into uh, northern delaware and portions of southern new jersey so that's something we'll have to keep a very close eye on however here's the good thing it doesn't look like flooding is going to be a major concern as we head into tomorrow so overnight cloudy showers develop. Look for an overnight low temperature right around 55 degrees. As we head into tomorrow, we're looking at a high around 71 periods of rain, and it could be heavy at times, particularly during the first part of the day. Your eyewitness weather seven day forecast goes like this. As we head into Tuesday, look for a high of 74 degrees, 76 on Wednesday. We will have the risk for some showers, possibly even a thunderstorm both Wednesday as well as heading into Thursday. But temperatures remain in the 70s. It's going to be feeling very spring like for Friday. Look for a high of 76 degrees. It's going to be partly cloudy, but also breezy. And then as we kick off the holiday weekend, you can look for highs in the upper 70s. The first half of the holiday weekend looking pretty good. By Sunday, some increasing clouds and possibly some rain returning to the forecast on Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. So keeping a close eye on that. Thank you.